Rosie. How you doing? You're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I know you're like, uh, we're not happy, fancy, because the world's falling apart. I know we all. I just want to make you smile over a stupid little kid song for like a, a one second of your life and not think about all the crazy things that's going on in the world right now. I'm going to try to talk really fast. Um, and people are like, oh my gosh, you're talking so fast, but I want to say all this stuff. And I know you're not going to sit around for 20, 10, 20 minutes. So here I go uh, without the accent. All right, here we go. So the first thing is vengeance. That's the first thing. Vengeance is its own movement, okay? Black Lives Matter is a movement. Vengeance is its own movement. You don't want to engage in vengeance. Learn that over my life. I mean, have you all ever watched a movie? Like, this person killed her cousin, and then her cousin, you know, killed that person. And then when that person, when she grows up, she goes and kills all the people in the family of the guy that killed her dad when before she was born, right? So it's, it's really, it's its own movement and it doesn't stop, it just continues to perpetuate um, itself. So let's not live our lives in retaliation, let's give it to God. Like I said, Tips for Tuesday was not based for the believer because I am a believer. Um, I mentioned the scripture and I say, but I guarantee you, you try any of those things that I say about in the scripture, they will still work for you whether you are not, not a believer. I pray that from watching Tips for Tuesday that you will come to a different understanding of Jesus Christ than you ever had before because I feel like I present it in a different light than other people have presented it before. <coughs> Y'all, it's piling out here. It's not coming but I feel like I present it in a different light. And so I hope that you come. But if not, believe in karma, believe in the universe, whatever it is you believe in, whatever you put out, you're going to get back. Even if it's to vindicate something that happened to somebody in your family. So I got that. Out. Next thing. Um, I, I did a little thing on depression. And I just want to say, like, there's people out there um, in this world right now, regardless of um, all the things that's going on, they have their own personal things going on. So with our black men being killed and with our black every man woman child people dying more of coronavirus we have enough to make us feel low enough to keep us down um and then we're out here protesting when we're technically supposed to be in the house even though i know atlanta be doing we be doing our own thing out here um and some other cities doing their own thing i'm just saying like we we're we're we're, we're like um to the 10th power in harm's way this virus thing is getting us more than we out here with the virus gathering in large groups not saying that we shouldn't protest i'm just saying you know this is this is not a good time for us like we got a lot going on what they trying to do and are we falling into the trap that's all i'm saying um you know and then putting ourselves in harm's way um and then looting is a whole nother uh, uh thing i don't somebody I, I i know we're all angry but looting doesn't help anything i mean you know whoever got a gucci bag or something you know drop it you know dm me like i'll take one of those or something no i'm just playing i do not advocate that y'all i just want to make you laugh in these difficult times i'm not gonna take that gucci bag i'm trying to talk quick right so i got that i got looting i got vengeance um what else uh, and so people are still um depressed you know, um, we're not safe. We got to find a better way. Um, there's a video out there um, about, it's three generations uh, really of black men, older and then middle age and then a 16 year old. And you know, all trying to, he's trying to tell the 16 year old and the older guy, he's in the middle, like we got to come up with a better way. And I'm, I'm with that. I'm an advocate for that. We got to come up with a better way. God made us smart. He made us intelligent and we can come up with something that is better. One thing, this is the way that I think that we need. We need to make sure that mentally that pity, pity, these uh, officers can protect and serve us. If they're racist, they can't protect and serve us and they don't need to be on the force anywhere. Um, so, and how do you know that? I mean, come on, you can check somebody's Twitter before you hire them, check somebody's Facebook, companies are doing it now, it's acceptable to see how they live in their life and what they think about unity and other races and all that stuff. And you need to do a really big background check to see the kind of stuff that they were involved in racially, not just, you know, they look at other stuff, but let's, let's see how are they with race relations, you know what I'm saying? Let's do that. Um, so that's an important thing, um, be vigilant. I want y'all to stay safe y'all my people of all colors um and my people that's out there that you watch tips for tuesday and you're not black um you're still my people and you still understand not understand but you still are sympathetic to what's going on i appreciate that i appreciate your sympathy i appreciate your post saying this isn't right you gotta do something to support and post and all that stuff is awesome because something must be done um, there is a lot going on 
And I just want y'all to stay encouraged. If you're depressed for the things that's going on in your life, come outside, get some air. Does not nature itself teach you? You know, we follow nature, watch the things in nature. We could be better humans because, you know, that's what the word says. Does not nature itself teach you? I love that scripture. Um, but if you don't believe in that, still, nature teaches us, uh, you know, so many things. Just like how, you know, one awesome thing, and I'm going to get out of here. This is it. You know, how um, these trees and these plants, they die, right? And they come back they in the summer just as bloom like beautiful flowers blooming and all this stuff like they never died and that's the same with us like the bad things and negative things in our life we gotta let them die and come back and be nice and bloomed and green and all those things um so that's what the scripture means by does not nature itself teach you and so let's let nature teach us let's love one another let's love on, on one another all colors um let's appreciate one another <coughs> it's not y'all it's just the pollen gosh um so uh you know i don't always do this every week but listen i don't know what you're going through um out here because just because the world's going crazy we all have our own personal stuff we're going through here is my hand heavenly father lord i ask you to touch them right now god all those that are watching god that are heavy laden burdened down god let them come to you for some rest, God. Lord, let the healing begin, God. Let new life start, God. That today forward, God, they will blossom into a new flower, God, as I want to, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the peace be with y'all. This is Stancy. You know what it is. It's Tips to Tuesday. I know.